Hey everyone, Joe here from Living the Learn. Thanks for pressing that button and coming by and, and watching this vid. But I was I done a video there. Maybe some of you have seen it. Maybe you haven't. Um, uh, as by request by by Gary Doyle about what I carry on a on an overnight trip. And you'd you'd be surprised what 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 people would pick up from these videos. But in that video, I mentioned that I have a thing called a um, nighttime bag. Now I just call it that because there's no other no other reference. But I've heard some people call it a fireside bag and and stuff like that. But it's just another way, or it's it's more the the principle of it that I, or the idea behind it that I like. You know, you can, you can call it what you want, but really it's just a way of of compartmentalizing your gear and making camp life a bit more easier for yourself. Now, I started off camping hammocking and stuff like that, and usually sometimes hammocks can keep you pretty, pretty far away from the fire. And then even when you when you bed roll, sometimes if you're at a communal camp, you don't always want to be directly at the fire because people can be staying up late and having chats and stuff. So you might be a bit further off from the main camp. So over the course of of a year or two, I kind of took notes because I had anybody who's camped with me knows that I, well anybody who kind of camps, you don't want to be losing gear. Um, you know, bringing stuff back and forth to the fire, you're taking stuff out to cook and having to go back to your bag and stuff like that. So, um, come dusk or when dusk starts to fall, um, what I start to do, and anybody who's camped with me can would vouch for this, but I start to gather up kind of all non essential pieces of kit because, I, you know, after dark, you shouldn't really be working with any of your tools, and you know, meal time should have come and gone by then. So I start, I clean up and pack away my cooking gear, and I, I put away my tools and stuff, and start getting comfy. Of course, I'll always have my knife on my hip, but I put away my axes, I put away my saws, make sure my bed roll and all that is all sorted out. And then what I do is I take out my nighttime kit or my fireside kit, and I carry it over to the fireplace with me. And it means that I don't have to make now I have it all carabiner together because. That's just how I like it. Again, I don't like stuff going missing. I just clip this carabiner off and I would put it in my pocket. Depending again on the activity you're doing. But what I have here is basically, I would have a liter of water. I don't usually imbibe alcohol. And if I'm doing, you can replace this with alcohol. But I have a liter of, liter of water here. I have my head torch. And then I got my bits and bobs that I don't want to go rooting in my bag for. Um, come night time because it can get dark and you know plus when you when you finally get in to your hammock or your bedroll or your tent or whatever form of of sleep system that you're using you, the last thing you want to have to do is get up and start rooting your bag and I, I, I have a personal pet peeve of once my head torch goes on having to root for anything so that's where this kind of kind of came from so i'll unclip it there anyway Again, this is just more of a principle video. It's 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 not a kind of everybody's recommendations <laughs> would be different, and you could build this kit around what you would use. Hell, if you, if you don't need one, you don't need one. So we'd have my liter of water that'd be by the fireside with me. It means I don't have to go looking for it. Then we would have my head torch, and once I put that on my head, you might see it in my other video. It's the night eyes SDS. I can just put the bag into this, but in here I just keep stuff that I don't want to have to go rooting for. So for me with my journaling and what I found that I kept going back and forth to my bag for um were these things. There's my anchor power charger. Shout out to Gal Wilmot was asking about these yesterday. I'm not a reviewer but that's that's the one I have. I keep it in here. So if I'm sitting by the fire I want to charge my phone and um, I find that you know when I get into my bed roll at night sometimes I like to look at videos I've made over the course of the day. So I'll just stick my phone on charge. Again, don't have to go rooting for it. Some mouthwash, kind of goes without saying. I have some wipes for um, cleaning my hands off before I get into bed. I'm a big stickler for, for kind of clean hands. Some toothpaste. I have a light diffuser. This is what I use for my True Night T10. They come with this as standard. It's, uh, the torch itself is about 150 lumens, but it's... Um, it's a great way, especially if you're tenting and stuff like that. I have a tent that has a special kind of place where you can hang your torch with a diffuser, turn it on. Saves me having to go rooting for it. It's a, it's an easily lost item and I've lost more than one of these. So I kind of keep that handy. My toothbrush. Again, this kind of does me in the morning as well. So when I wake up, it's kind of one place. And um, moisturizer. I have to actually throw that out. That's an old tube of toothpaste. 
some tea tree oil. This is just to give my bed roll a, um, a bit of a shake. To give, it keeps ticks away, snails away, spiders away. It's it's actually, I didn't believe it could do what it could do, but Bernard Nulty, shout out to Bernard, the content creator on the channel, put me away to this. And it's fantastic. Even when I'm out in the woods, splash the tea tree oil on the trousers on the top. It, I'm not saying it stops, but it helps really prevent those nasty critters. Some chapstick. An eye mask. And then I keep basically a gaggle of, of earplugs. I don't know if you'll see them in there. But I'm um, some people go out to the woods to wake up in the woods. And I think that's fantastic. You know, they, they love waking up, being outside. But me personally, I love going to sleep outside. That's one of my favorite things to do is when you get into your... your your bedroll or your hammock and, and you're getting to sit there you're listening to the crackling of the fire you're listening to your, your your friends having a laugh and a joke and just the ambience of being outside but sometimes you can be at a camp where that ambience can turn into 2 a.m ambience and 3 a.m ambience and, and i personally can't uh, i can't sleep like that or you could be sharing um a tarp with a with a few other guys or being in close proximity with a few other guys who tend to be snorers hell we all snore so I've always find that I'm missing these, so I literally just threw about 20 of them in there, and I always kind of have them with me. So, they, so there you go, like I mean it's not a, it's not one of these fundamental fire kit videos that this is what I do or this is what I don't. Like some people don't need earplugs, some people don't need eye masks, but I just find it handy because it saves me having to go looking for all these, um, all these bits of kit. I can literally just walk over, oh well, hey, I can literally just walk over and I, when I've packed all my stuff away, Take out my bottle, take out my head torch, take out my fireside bag, clip it all together, trundle back over, sit in my seat and enjoy the evening. Not have to run back and forth to my bag every every time I want something and then when I'm going to bed, I can literally get into my tent, take out my light diffuser because my torch is always in my pocket. Take out my light diffuser, put my light up, brush my teeth, put my earplugs in, jump down, go to sleep. Job's a good one. No rooting in the bags. After 7 o'clock I zip my bag up and I rarely ever have to go back near it again. So there you go. Just an idea. You know, it'd be nice to, not saying catch on, but hopefully it helps people come home from the woods with with everything that they went out with. Um, you can come check us out over on the Live and to Learn community. There's always great ideas and stuff going on over there. And shout out to all the members. You're absolutely fantastic and it's a great place to be. So Joe from Live and to Learn, out.